some people tell me that I have some other business to attend to before I get into the dimensional corridor, and honestly, I'm kind of grateful for the diversion. I really am not looking forward to that, and I'd rather not do it if I could possibly help it until the absolute last possible minute, so here I am. Somebody told me that I could be looking up the last tablet that has the uh, translation primers here in the Tower of Rowan, and I'm looking for it, and I think, according to what I was told, that it was right around here-ish. Let me see. I think I'm close. Yeah, I I don't think I ever read that tablet down at the bottom of the level. Let's see if I can find a way back down there. I don't know that I've ever been down on that bottom level before. I might have been, I'm just could be I'm totally forgetting. We'll find out. Oh, stupid skeletons, God. It's like you're undead or something. You're so hard to keep down. And these flaming belly lizard thingies, don't even know what they are. Probably just flaming belly lizards. Is this it? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna find it. Because I've been told it's here and I'm gonna keep looking. Um, something new that I have just, again, wan randomly wandered into. Um, I can now fight this lightning dragon. I don't know what item I have that make, or what I've done that's made him vulnerable, but he's now. I'm hurting him, so I'm gonna see if I can kill his ass. I'll probably get some reward out of it, because that seems to be pretty part. Oh, it wasn't even that hard, Jesus. Okay, um. I uh, probably did something. I heard a chime go. Did that just open this up? Yeah, I don't think I've been here before. Yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Um, Alright, let's see if I can get up top. <clears throat> and this is the last translation tablet. Okay. Translation software is completed learning the ancient characters. Alright, so let's read it anyway. The goddess of the mountain changes her form into the goddess that loves blood and war. To assuage her anger, thou must get down on the ground and pray. Um, I remember seeing a mural about the goddess of blood and war in the... Uh, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Um, in the chamber of birth, it was. Also, there was a... Uh, what was it? There was a tablet just upstairs from here, I think, that was translated or was in the ancient La Mulan in script. And I'm going to see if I can read it right now. There's probably a lot more tablets I need to be looking at now because of all this. There we go. Too quick for the eyes, that which continues to move even after time has been stopped. Defeat the unseen enemy, and the elixir of life shall be bestowed upon thee. Unseen enemy. Unseen enemy. Unseen enemy. Unseen enemy. Well, if it's unseen, I don't know that it's there, so... I will have to take the best thing for the blah 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 blah. What's this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll get that later, but I do want bombs. I'll get that. Why the hell not? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so that's cool. Made a little bit of progress here. I've been reminded that we have at least a whole section of Confusion Gate that I haven't even explored yet, and I probably should be doing that before I go on to other stuff, so here we are. Not much to say. This is probably the most single most straightforward screen that I've yet seen in La Mulana. What's this? Can't scan it. I mean, I, I want to say that I'm afraid of more bullshit puzzles, but really, the fact that Confusion Gate is given this reputation for having the worst of the worst is kind of a red herring, honestly. I mean, it's like, the whole game is Confusion Gate, honestly. Not, not much of it is any worse than this. I mean, it's, I should say that Confusion Gate is not much worse than any of the rest of it. Ooh, I should be able to get to that tablet up there, shouldn't I? Unless I fall down to it from the top, let's see. No, I should be able to get through there from just over here. So let's try it. And what's this say? Wisdom is buried in the wall. Hold high the emblem of proof before a palace guarded by Hell's Gatekeeper. Glowing letters will shine through the darkness. Wisdom is, in fact, the virtual wise man, keeper of the mantra. A mantra, I think, is like one half or one third or one quarter of the total puzzle solution I need to eventually summon the mother. Um complicated as all hell. I mean, for serious. It's like they wanted me to go get an entire grocery list of stuff in order to, to launch the game's final boss fight. Uh, yeah, I haven't been up here before. Oh, for serious. Do I have to jump on these things? Christ. I don't even want to do things that require personal effort. Ugh. Wait, where am I supposed to be going anyway? I see a hand. Am I supposed to use something here? 
Oh, I just broke it. Did that do something down below? I don't know. <laughs> what did that do? Let's go back upstairs and see. I don't follow. I don't know what that did. Ugh. Huh. I'll come back. Um, I was just randomly walking along this bed of spikes and then noticed that there's a trap door right here that dropped me in it and I don't care to get it on camera, so now I can drop a weight here. Yeah. Hi. Did that just, like, make accessing this part of the level just that much easier? Is that all that did? Hmm. Let's just warp to the grail point. I'll be back. Yeah, here I am. So it placed a platform here. That's lovely. Wonderful. Let's go back upstairs, see if anything else changed. No. Although, I have heard people tell me time and time again that there's some stuff that you can only... F like, switches you can trigger only if you fall into it cer from a certain height. Apparently, this is not one of them. Let's try one more time. Just one more time. One more time. I mean, this would be a really, like, unnecessarily self-serving puzzle. Like, I feel like there'd be something else to this. Oh, 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 wait, wait, I can see it. If I can get up to that topmost part, I can fall down from quite a height. Let's try that. This requires some pretty shittingly precision platforming, but anyway. That's as high as I can fall on it from. And I'm still not seeing anything happen, so... That's... Can't be the whole thing. I mean, really? That would be really lame if that was, like, all that I came here to do. That can't even be it. I mean, there's gotta be other stuff, but... I mean... It's kind of all of Confusion Gate that I've got access to, I think. I wonder if I can go back and see if anything's changed. Let's try that. This wasn't here before. There's a pot in... Or was it here before? I forget. There's a pot in the statue's hands. I totally am not even remembering if that had been there before. I can't just walk through its foot. Um, yeah, okay. I'm having to jump cancel to get over there. Yeah, maybe that was there before. I don't know. Um, <laughs> So, well, I don't know what I've done. That's kind of been the whole theme of this entire LP, really. That UD does something, doesn't understand it. Has to get help or to look at lots, lots of stuff off camera. Let me just look up towards the right here. One last thing. Nope, yep, rubbing my face on the wall. Getting nothing. Nothing, nothing. Sigh. I want to uh, insert a random little bit of narrative into this section of the LP while I go to uh, hopefully break open a seal that I forgot I could get into in the Shrine of the Mother. So um, I mentioned at the beginning of the last video that it finally clicked in my mind what was the design ethic behind La Mulana. Something else has occurred to me, um, and I want to share with you an anecdote that brought me to this conclusion. So um, a friend of mine in the Ibunshu community uh, just barely started playing La Mulana with not much intent, intent to finish it. Um, he just says that he doesn't really like the game and he wants to uh, wants to play it simply to kind of validate his opinions and get good language and rhetoric behind his ideas of why he dislikes playing it so much or thinks the game is bad, what have you. So um, he was uh, gotten relatively early in the game uh, just through the Mausoleum of the Giants. Oh, there's another seal here I can get to. I forgot about that. Um, relatively early in the game, just to the Mausoleum of the Giants, and he was fighting Sakit. And, well, let me pause this story to see what this opens real quick. Something encouraging, I bet. Absolutely nothing. This this can't be it. I'll explore some further while I'm talking. Anyway, so... Um, he had gotten up to the Mausoleum of the Giants and was fighting Sakit, and it, it shocked him, like it really, really surprised him, that the um, the, the sub-weapon found in the Mausoleum of the Giants, the Rolling Shuriken, would roll up Sakit's arm, but then wouldn't actually hurt him. And he, th he said that's bad player training, and all of his, you know, 25 or 20 plus years of gaming... Well, let's see what this is first. Ouch. This is... Oh, life drill, good. Um, so his, like, 20 plus years of gaming had led him to the assumption that a weapon that he finds in a boss's dungeon should necessarily be useful against that boss. And he said that was, you know, quote-unquote bad game design. And then I laughed at him. I'm like, dude, you think that's a problem? You think not being able to use the, the weapon found in the mausoleum, not being able to use that against Sakit himself, 
You, you think that's bad game design? Dude, you ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing, dude. You are weak sauce. And so I gave him a little bit of jibing over that. But then I realized something as I was telling him that. I realized, wait a second. This is fun. It's fun to have this sense of self-superiority that I've gotten so much further and seen so much worse in La Mulana than he ever has. And it, the uh, the idea of it kind of shocked me. It was like, wow, I'm actually enjoying this self-superiority of, look, look at me how good I am at this game, and look at all these challenges that I've overcome that you can't even yet imagine, son. You know, that was, it was oddly gratifying. So, I think this harkens back to the same thing I was talking about before, the school of game design, where you become more or less obsessed. You become obsessed, and you, like, get so good at a game, and when other people, like, complain at even the most mildly difficult things about it, and you're like, dude, that ain't nothing. You, you don't know shit, son. Get out of my face. You know, that's, that's got a real, like probably unhealthy, but it's got a real, there's a, a genuine satisfaction to it. And I, and I would never have thought about, you know, I always thought about that Nintendo hard kind of thing, is like coming from, from Twitch-based reaction time, and from platforming challenges, and dealing with difficult bosses, not with dealing with difficult obtuse puzzles, and that's something that La Mulana does that no other video game has really done that I've ever seen or heard of. It's kind of unique in that way. So... I think I may understand yet another part of the pleasure of La Mulana. It's, it's not the game itself. Not by any means. The game itself is a fucking hell test of, of Judge Dread proportions. No. No, it's, it's the aftermath when you've done it, and then you come back and you're like, <laughs> what, what, you, you think Elmac is hard? You fucking tool bag. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. I was raised on the streets. You've been raised on the streets like me. You would be dead, son. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that occurred to me. I, ho I hope that I hope that anecdote is enlightening to all involved. Now, I don't know what this has done opening this up here. Um, I'm going to try to come to the tile immediately left of here and see if I can get into this. Yeah, I can't find anything, and I'm getting the feeling that's an exit rather than an entrance, so I, I won't worry about it right now. I'll come back later. Ouch. I'm just now noticing in this room of the Twin Labyrinths, there are some blocks. Um, this almost certainly means we have a block puzzle, and I think it would be worth looking into that now. Uh, those that created this contraption are fools. They mistakenly created a puzzle that could not be solved, but after all this time it has been rewritten. Those who fail to solve this puzzle shall be punished. Eh, far for the course, really. Although, I see a door up here. Can I get up? <laughs> doesn't want me to take the easy way, huh? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We'll, we'll try it the hard way. Um, let's see. I need to be able to get behind this block that was on this side. So, can I just bash open this wall? Let's get over here and try it with some of my precipitous stock of shootikins. That's not happening. Okay. What do you want to... Sorry, I'm not going to say that again. Um, I am curious that there's going to be some kind of alternative entrance that'll let me just warp behind that and push it out like you normally would, because that's what morally sound people do. Hmm. Okay. Um, I might need a hint for all this, but I'll try scrolling back and forth along the screens for no discernible reason. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get that brick over here. There's no solving this. What do you want to bet it has something to do with this with this compass here? I'm sorry, I said what do you want to bet again? God, I'm a bad person. Why do I say that so much? Am I, is that the noise I get for hitting the brick itself? No, I'm hitting something else. Hmm. wonder if it's the wall. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to be the wall I'm hitting, actually. Yeah, there's something going on up here. It's invulnerable to my weapons. Although it seems it's kind of in there. It's not, it's not impacting right on the surface. Can I ninja onto it? Huh. Okay, I'll look into this. Sorry I didn't capture it on camera, but I just, I whacked this ceiling, part of the ceiling right here with one of my bombs, and it just disappeared, so... Oh, pfft. So, I'm just gonna get right behind it, and then push. Okay, I think I can do this. It's honestly not, not too bad for La Mulana puzzle standards, really. Although, now I have to start the whole puzzle all over again, don't I? Herp derp. Okay, believe I have the solution. Allow me to enact it, and see if I get it right. Yep. 
Alright, and oh yeah, the lightning eye went away too. Yeah, let's see what's behind this door. Whoops. I'm selling the good stuff. What oh, the lamp of time! Oh my, um... Yeah, people have told me about this thing a lot. Let's see how many shooting hands I can buy. Oh, I can only hold up to 150, it seems like. Okay, I'm gonna grind up some money and then come back for this. Okay, I've got the money, I've got the drive, I've got the motive, means, and opportunity. Let's see what the hell this lamp does. <coughs> it can stop time, okay. Very well. Um, let's see, it is a usable. Manipulate time with this lamp. Once used, the flame goes out, making it useless. Sirs? Oh, good, Zelp has something to say. Don't play pranks, okay? It's me, so you bought the Lamp of Time. It seems that you can stop time for a little bit, but once you use it, it loses its power. You may be able to use it again when you manage to light the lamp, which is probably what these things do. Um, yeah, so it's lit now. Um, do I want to waste this right now? I wonder if I'll get the opportunity to recharge it whenever I come to one of these compasses. Let's try it. Oh, I am fucking Sakia. Look at me. Zawurado! Wow, this is cheap. <laughs> I wonder if I, I can take on, like, any enemy. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so did I just use a... This this compass was probably put here specifically specifically for me to give a try for this. I wonder if that's going to recharge at any point so I can light the lamp again. Well, anyway, that's cool. Um, I, I'm sure it's going to have, like, very specific uses to it, but... All right, so lamp of time get. Um, let's go save. I've decided to just begin exploring with the Lamp of Time anywhere that one of these celestial compasses is that charges the lamp. So, um, now that I've done that, let's try it. Apparently nothing is happening. Hmm. I just fell through the wisp. What fun! Just stumbled into Mulbrook. She's offering a new hint, so I'll capture on camera. That ocarina you have, actually, isn't it the Philosopher's Ocarina? Ah, the Philosophers are finally awake. My role here may soon come to an end. Is that all you had to say, girl? Let's try this again. Second children were the giants. Being so big, they were good at making things. Most of the lands within these ruins were built by the giants. They had the knowledge to return the mother from, uh, to the skies and even made a flying tower for her, but the tower was not strong enough to lift the mother's large body. Eventually, the leaders began to fight amongst themselves, and they chased away by the third children. The giants fled to the land they created in order to create... Or, let's see, fled to the land they created in order to cool down the tower and perish there. Mulbrook heard some giants escape by the surface. Have you heard any rumors? Zelpud's talking to me about the lamp now, too. Whoa, that's right. What is that, a lamp? Ah, you bought the lamp of time. It's a strange lamp that can stop time. Oh, don't use it in front of me. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, dude. I'll discard this video if this turns out not to work. Lit, but now I can't get the flame out of it. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, did I just get it back again? Let's try this one more time. Something is happening on this screen. First off, um, I think it's worth noticing that the uh, the symbol of the philosophers is on a brick down there, and also there is something that's scrolling past on the screen here that I can't really catch. But you know what? I have a lamp of time now, so let's see if we can shut this thing down and figure out what it's up to. I don't know if I like have to catch it when it's in like attackable range. There's a lot of space on this screen that's taken up by, you know, level level textures that I can't get into, but anyway. Oh, a fish. Multiple fishes. No, it's a projectile of some kind, I think. Ah, okay. Well, I got it whatever it was. <coughs> oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> I should have seen it coming. All right, trying this again. See if we can stop these things. How 
many of them are there? Jesus, look at all this. And I guess I only have to kill one or a couple of them. Let's see if this crusher comes back. I'll go back down again. Okay. Oh, I'm probably going to have to use the Lamp of Time to stop the Crusher, aren't I? Yeah, okay, I, I, there was a recharge point not far back. I'll come back for that. Back with the recharged Lamp. Let me wait for the Crusher to get out of my way, and then pull a Sakuya there. Go all Zawurdo on their asses. Oh, crap, I can't actually drop the weight. I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. I may as well just... Yeah, I, I have to drop the weight and then get the hell out of there last. Uh, figuring out these puzzles one agonizing step at a time. Okay, so wait for the crusher to go. Get in there. Drop the weight. Freeze time. And then GTFO and kill some laser lightning fit flying fishy things. Why wait for the pedestal to finish descending? Come, lamp of time. Do your thing. And now, what did that do? I've asked that so many times. It's not even funny anymore. What the hell did that do? I'll find out. Um, I came wandering through the Tower of the Goddess here to see if I could find my way uh, back to the top part of the Tower of Ruin, and a Philosopher's Ladder just opened up over there, so I'm going to go explore that now, go on a little bit of a side diversion. If I can even get up there, I'm not sure that I can. Yeah, that may just be an exit from somewhere else. I don't see that I can really get in there. Let's try just bashing the wall apart here. No? Okay, well, I guess I'll come back and find out about that later. Also, I'm not just now remembering that there's a Crusher Press here in the Tower of the Goddess that always closes before I can get on screen. See, that's closed right now. So, I'm thinking... God damn it, Fairy, stop it. Um, I'm thinking I will try to use the lamp to get myself in there, as soon as I can figure out an opportune way to do things that require personal advancement and happiness in life. Just see what's like the quickest way to access this part of the level. I'll, I'll figure it out. I think I may have it. Let me try this on camera here. Okay, there. Time is frozen. Be fast, be fast, be fast, be fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, I gotta drop it before the crusher hits me. Oh, there we go. Awesome. And that drops a ladder, which I think will let me get here, which I've never been to before. Yes, yeah, this door. What's in here? All right, I'm the owner of this tower shop. What's this? Miracle Witch. That's our recommended product. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll take it. No, no, and no, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna need to grab some money. That's a software. I'll come back for that. Wait a second, a hole, op a hole in the wall opened up here that I don't think has been here before. Um, ugh, damn it. I really, really, really hate that deformed koala kangaroo donkey donkey dog. Let's... Heck, I'll get back up there. Fucking Caltrops are excellent for taking care of a boa Q, or however you pronounce his name. Anyway. Ooh. Yeah, I've never been in here before. Um, do, am I supposed to weigh my heart against a feather, or how does this work? Those who seek power prove thy knowledge. If thy spirit is balanced and just, thy power shall be granted. Huh. So left or right, huh? I'll come back to this. I I'm gonna go save. I don't want to screw this up. I don't want to get, like, a lost forever. Alright, let's, uh... Let's try this. I've saved now, so theoretically I should be able to play with this puzzle and not end the world. Oh, fuck it. Where's the ball? Have I gotten a lost forever just because I left the room and came back? Fucking hell. Yeah, um, so it looks like I've suffered a lost forever. Um, so I thought this was going to be something similar to the chain whip, where uh, I would be safe to leave and come back before placing a weight on one of the pedestals to see if I could solve whatever puzzle is in here, and I've saved. And I loaded from that save, I've, I've closed the game and reopened it, and the tablet and the pedestals to place the weights upon are gone. I, I can't do what I was supposed to do in here, so um, because I was trying to exercise a bit of caution, I have lost what is in this weapons crate forever. It was probably the mace. I fucking hate this game. I, I really, really do. I know this is not required to finish it by any means, but uh, yeah, it, it's punishing me for the same cautionary behaviors that it's been trying to breed into me ever since the game got started. This is really fucking upsetting, and I hate the people who made this game, and I wish them a horrible, painful death by bloody fire. So yeah. You're not going to see me use the mace in this LP. How fucking lovely is that? Assholes. I have found yet one more shop. Uh, my guides tell me that this is the fourth and final in the labyrinth. Uh, let's see. The power to stop time for thine eyes only will time flow. Even things too quick to be seen will become visible. So in other words, um, I think that tablet's trying to tell me that I need to use the lamp here, and something will appear that will let me get up there. I could probably just jump. It's not that high up, but... Yeah, see? Huh. 
What's this? Ooh, the bracelet. Um, that's probably a buff of some kind, and yet I'm out of money. Again, I'll come back. Going in to buy the bracelet. I have slowed down, but who cares at this point? Yeah, I got some amazing wares. Blah, yep, I'll buy that. Okay, let's see what the bracelet does. Whoops. Sorry about this. Um, working on the slowdown. Armor passed down by Western Mass increases your manual skills, making you better. That's the ring. Where's the bracelet? There we go. Um, item with mysterious powers. With this, you can smash the pots in the ruins with one blow. Oh, so it's more of a convenience item than anything else. Let's just try it. Yep, okay. Well, that will save me some time. I also ground up enough money to come get whatever this thing is that this guy is selling in the Tower of the Goddess. So let's look at it. That is the Miracle Witch. Oh, yeah, I take it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, what does this do for me? Uh, Miracle.exe. That is really hefty. Yikes, look at that. Um... Uh, conjure up magic, solve mysteries in this action RPG. Does that have a combination with these others? Eighth flash game, seventh flash game. Let's see. And first flash game. Yeah, I'm, I bet I'm getting some kind of cumulative effect, huh? I don't see anything on the map, but I'll I'll keep looking. Probably could just look it up if I really cared all that much, but somebody will tell me too, so I don't have to worry about it, lol. Checking something on a hunch. I'll discard this if it turns out not to work. Oh, yep, okay. So looking at the map of Confusion Gate, I can see there is a secret room immediately to the right of here. Kind of feel stupid for not noticing that earlier. So let's break down this wall. And where does this bring us? Ooh, goodness, that's foreboding. Lots of laser beams. These look like the designs in the Chamber of Birth. Whoa! Succubus Fairy. I'm a stray fairy, a stray fairy who's been ordered to protect the secret of life. I have been protecting it ever since the day it was decided that no more life shall be created. My guest has the day come to create life again. You who possesses vast wisdom and courage should know. I should be you should be able to see what I cannot. Please free uh, please free me from the secret of life. Free you from this Ooh. Huh. There's a puzzle to be had here, I can feel it. Um Let's see, so, common wisdom would say that I can't just walk through the laser beams. They're probably just like any other force field. Let's see if there's a way to attack from above or below. If not, I'll try to just walk through it. Yeah, not seeing that. Okay, going at it from the left. Ouch. Alright, going at it from the right. Ouch. Yeah, no go. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's talk to her one more time. Ouch. Try not to die while doing it. Yeah, nothing more. Yeah, same thing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll find this out. In my, uh... Also looked at the map, I noticed there's yet another secret room right below here, the fairy chamber. Um, and I think I can just... Yep, whack it apart with my knife. This makes no sense, but okay. Ooh, yeah, not been here yet. Thank God I got a fairy healing me. These two guys are bound to take a chunk out of me. Hmm. I'm almost certainly going to need a key fairy to deal with these parts, these bricks here. That's right, healing fairy, do your job. Boy, it's nice to be able to kill those pots instantaneously. Alright, the fairies unlock it. Yep, yeah, I need a key fairy. Um, hmm. Yeah, just whacking this is not doing any good. So I will come back, see if I can scum the fairy spawn point up top for a key fairy. Oh, yep. Another destructible wall. Except not really. Let's try a bomb. Too far. This should be close enough. Yep, no good. I'm gonna need a key fairy. I'll be back. Okay, I made it down here with a key fairy. See if she does anything. She's hovering near the chest. Oh, she so just unlocked the chest. Okay. And this is... Fairy clothes? What? <laughs> the maze is wearing it like a vest. These deads have been infused with fairy powder. Cuts the damage to the... Oh my god, really? This is armor? Oh, I need to test this. Okay, now these, these lizard knight dudes. They're pretty hefty. Oh, fuck yes! I I'm gonna go get hit by spikes. Because I, I know pretty well specifically what kind of damage those things do. Let's try that. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Okay, so I've been dicked over quite thoroughly, but the game does offer its handouts every once in a while. Um, okay, so this is the room immediately below the ferry that's trapped up there. Um, after killing one of the lizard knights on top of that platform, a bunch of these tablets just randomly appeared. And I will read them on camera for you. Let's see. The grieving bird cast a spell without the mother's knowledge, so the mistakes would not be repeated, and the cycle of sadness would end. The large bird cast a spell. Should the bird die, the spell shall break, and the pillar of light shall disappear. I leave this behind and pass it down in the same state of mind as the bird with the face. Wandering, the wandering lizard cast off the light. Unable to bear it, he cast it off. The light he cast off was the light of his spirit. Lamenting his ugly appearance, he cast it off. And when the light returns to the lizard, the pillar of light will disappear. I'll leave this behind and pass it down, because I understand how the lizard felt. The shining pillars are the child's feelings, the glowing feelings of the dancing child. The reason the f that the feelings shine lies in very strange treasure. A wonderful treasure that is weak yet unbending. If the treasure dis this treasure disappears, if everything disappears all at once, the child will be saddened and the spirit will cloud over. I leave this behind and pass it down to preserve the child's spirit. Wow, that is dense. Okay. Um, let's see. There were, I'm going to probably need to record these tablets, honestly. Let's, let's go through and cull a bunch of the text notes that I no longer need. Um... Chamber of Birth. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that one. Um, keep that one. Yeah, this is an Eden puzzle. We can get rid of this. Um, this is an Eden puzzle. Get rid of this. Uh, let's see. Hang on to this. Uh, get from this location. Hmm. I was told to chose three. Ah, I'll keep that. Alright, so let's record all three of these. Whoops. Wow, I don't know how to press buttons. Let me fix this. So, I'll be honest. Um, I really don't know where to start with all those clues. I'll begin looking around. Now, normally, if I uh, have an idea for a puzzle solution and it turns out to be flat wrong, I just discard the video so I don't make an idiot of myself. This one, however, I will keep, because even if the solution turns out not to be this, my idea for it is fucking clever, and even if it's not right, it should be right, and I'm proud of showing it off. So, take a look at this. Of the text notes, the one talking about the children's room, see that picture in the bottom there? That looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? It's the statue in this alternate entrance to Confusion Cave. Now, um... It shows the pots, and it says if the treasure disappears, if everything disappears all at once, the child will be sad and a spirit will cloud over. So my suspicion is that if I can use the lamp to stop time and destroy all of the pots before time starts again, then from the child's perspective, all the uh, things will be destroyed at the same time, and that should solve this third of the puzzle, I imagine. I'm going to test that, but I'm going to save just so I don't lose my lamp charge. I'll be back. Okay, got to be fast. Let's do this. I forgot, I don't need to... I probably have already screwed this up. Come on. Oh, so close! I could have done it if I hadn't screwed it up. I'll try again on camera. With my bracelet upgrade, even my shurikens can one-shot these pots, so let's make use of that. Fuck, I'm gonna miss the final one. Oh, God, so close! Okay, last attempt on camera before I get it. I know I can do this if I just don't screw up. There we go, got him. <laughs> I did it! I actually solved a fucking puzzle in this madhouse. Oh dear god. Okay, let's um let's go back up to the laser room and see if any of them have changed. I bet at least two of them, one on each sorry about that, one on each side will be gone. Um Oh. They're not gone, but there is a pedestal here that wasn't here before. Yep, two of them are gone. Okay, now as soon as I entered this room, um, there's a dude over here who wasn't here before. Take a look. Who is this guy? I bet that's the bird man the note was talking about. Uh, let's see, what was it saying? Was it... Okay, no, I don't want to delete. Uh, read. Okay, so the grieving bird casts a spell without the mother's knowledge and mistakes 
Let's see. Should the bird die, the spell shall break and the pillar of light shall disappear. So I gotta kill this dude, I think. Alright. Ooh, so I gotta fight this guy as a mid-boss now, huh? This is actually gonna be kind of tricky. Um, I've got a little bit of ammunition left. I'm gonna keep my back to the wall so he can't knock me down into the pit. You know, one way that La Mulana is very easy is when it tries to pull off Danmaku. Really, you, you guys ain't got shit on Zune, really. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. I wonder if that means I have to start all over. Yep, looks like it. Alright, attempt number two. Wow, this is going to be a hard fight. Just shuriken the shit out of him, I guess. I should really come out of this with more ammunition in my gun and then just spam him to death. I, just, I can't get hit because then I'll get knocked down and the fight will reset, unless I've got my back to the wall. But I think he knows that. His AI is probably programmed to take advantage of that. Attempt number three. Hard to hit. So many shurikens. Damn it! Attempt number four. does its thing. Eh, who cares, just experience. Couldn't have gotten the money anyway. Alright, um, so I killed the Birdman, and I'm wondering now if that means that I have unlocked a Lizardman somewhere. Let's throw this laser solution down anyway. There, okay, one more to go. I was just swinging my axe in this room to fend off enemies, and I saw that there was a section here, when I scanned it, that was kind of like light shining through the cracks in the wall, and I scanned that, and it confirmed that, so I swing my axe, and then light comes through. So now this is a lizard dude, and I'm suspicious that I have to find a way to get this lizard down into the light, and then that will solve the final puzzle. Um, I need to remember, I think I got rid of this wall up here before. I need to remember how that worked. Let's see. Yeah, I, I feel like I did this before, but... Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get this ferry and I'll look around. I'm going to try something, see if I can push this brick out of the ladder's way before he gets back down here. Now see if I can make him follow me. That's it, dude. Come on. Come to the light. No, don't go back, back up the ladder, you tard. Come down here. Don't spit fire at me, either. I wonder if it's like one of those Japanese puzzles where you have to follow the ladder every time you come across it. There we go. Step in front of the light. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I actually solved all these puzzles myself. Good shit. I don't even know how to feel about that. All right. Let's uh, go reveal what it is that this fairy was protecting. I'm, I'm going to just do this on camera because I want there to be an entourage. I want there to be an ensemble of my victory towards this puzzle. Thank you, fairy. You're... Ah, fuck Confusion Gate. Okay, so much for entourage and ensemble. Let's just solve this puzzle and see what happens. Okay. I think I have to talk to the fairy lady first. That does seem the most probable method of advancement. 
Thank you, my guest. Thank you, Gus. My job here is finished. This place lives to give birth to evil life under orders of the four philosophers. When it begins to move again, life shall be taken from the mother. Go now. Use the cog of the soul. I will go ahead of you to the heavens. Oh. Rest well, my fairy friend. Ooh. Did you leave a tablet behind? I guess. What's cog of the soul written beneath the circular carvings? Okay. I wonder what this does. Alright, and is it usable? It is usable. Part of an ancient contraption. Use the item button to set it in its proper place. Let's try it here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, clay men. Are these... I think these are the six children. Are they going to come after me? Oh, fuck. Well, what have I done? I remember there was a bunch of these clay men uh, molds in the chamber of birth, but does, does that have anything to do with this? Huh. Well, what if... What hellishness have I just wrought? <laughs> wow, they're everywhere. I don't even think I can get upstairs easily. Might have to warp back to the grail point. Let's just try to force our way out of here. Yeah, I know that was just a puzzle solution. Uh, what do you? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bet that something like that's happened to the chamber of birth too. I'll go look. I'll do that right now, actually. I'm gonna go heal and save though. Now re-entering the chamber of birth, and there they are. Yes, the clay children. I'm gonna see if I can fight my way down to find out if they have some kind of a puzzle solution to them. These things are gonna harass me the whole way. I can tell. Yeah. Oh, they're everywhere. Jesus. Can't see them all going to any kind of a puzzle solution. They seem to be just, like, wandering around. One of them kind of just appeared down there before the door that I was never able to open. I'll move on. Get through this area quickly, because there's giant blades here that clap off, like, a quarter of my health bar. Well, more like an eighth now, because I've got the fairy armor. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wait a little bit in each room and see which each one of these does. Yeah, they can seem to, like, disappear and reappear at will. I'll just hide up here where they can't touch me. Yeah, they're not really doing anything. Not on this screen. Okay, let's move on. No, there's no spawner here. There is a spawner here, and I can kind of wait here safely to see what they do. Oh, of course, that'll just knock me off screen, because skeletons are such wonderful people. Now, there's got to be something more obvious than this. I'm trying to brute force things again, and i got a hunch that this is not the way this puzzle works. There's something obvious these Sandmen are supposed to do, I think. Except I've already been to all these parts of the Chamber of Birth, really. I wonder if it's like the other part of the Chamber of Birth they haven't been to yet. That's what they're supposed to do, something at. Let's see if one of them gets over here. Maybe that's the whole reason why I was supposed to unblock this little wall. No, not doing anything. <laughs> oh, Alright, when I find out what they're supposed to do, I'll come back. It is time, I think tackle this, the other half of the Chamber of Birth. This was the part of the Chamber of Birth that was accessed from the Tower of the Goddess, and I can just walk through here, apparently. I would love to see if I can come right back and get access to that Grail Point, so I don't have to go through the Tower of the Goddess every time. That'd be lovely. Now I'm sure I'm going to have to compete with Sandmen the whole time. This is the land where life is born. Praise life, a large Gladol is born. Gladol protects the Golden Key. Okay, you know what? Um, I've done enough for one video. I'm going to come back and tackle this all later. Next video. I know, I keep saying, I'm going to do this here in the next video, and then I change my plans entirely. Well, you know what? That's not my fault. Just blame this game for having wonky-ass pacing. Like, it, it's almost like a, a Fibonacci uh, development when you see how much time is happening between each boss from one boss to the next. 
this this gap between V and Palenque was so, so much longer than the gap between Bahamut and V. And for a sequence Metroidvania adventure game, even that one was pretty long. This has been hours and hours and hours. So unless the game's a lot longer than I think it is, I can only imagine that the final three bosses are going to be done almost in order, all one right after the other, but I suppose we'll see.